Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a 2020 Topps Sterling Baseball two box break random hit number six. We're gonna be opening up two boxes. Each box is gonna have two uh, autograph cards in it or uh, two relics potentially. It, really nice stuff. So we're gonna figure out which boxes we're doing. We have the list of participants, customers. Mark and Adam bought their spots straight up. And then Jeremy and Roger, just one spots in this from a Leaf autographed baseball random team number four break. So congrats to them. But no matter how you got into it, let's take a look and see what we can do for you guys. So you can see on here, we have six boxes of Sterling numbered twos, threes, and fours. That means the ones obviously went in break number five. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll a dice. I'm going to pick this one. This is my favorite one. And we're going to roll a dice to figure out which two boxes we're going to be breaking in this one. The twos are going to be if the dice rolls one or two. The threes are going to be if the dice rolls a three or four. And the fours are going to be if the dice rolls a five or a six. So you can see the dice here. Everything's normal. And it popped into the left corner over here. And we can see that that's a three. So we're going to be doing boxes three in the middle. Boxes two and four will be up for breaks number seven and eight. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. You can get in on those breaks in the near future. But in the meantime, Let's open these up and see what's in them. So what we're going to do is we're going to open these four mini boxes inside. Each one of them has a category on them. And we're going to actually keep track of them as far as in the order that we open them. So that we can put make a list for when we randomize what customer gets what hits. So first up is... 1990s MLB All-Stars. Next up is Fielding Award Winners. So you guys can make your, uh, your guesses on what you think is in each one of those. And this one is 2010's MLB All-Stars and 1990's MLB All-Stars. So we've got two 1990's MLB All-Stars, if I remember correctly. So 90's MLB All-Stars, Fielding Award winners, 2010's MLB All-Stars and 1990's MLB All-Stars. So let's open up the first 90s All-Stars. So we've got guesses for 90s. We've got Nomar. We've got Jeter. For Fielding, we've got a guess of Ozzy. For 2010 All-Stars, somebody's guessing Trout. I'm guessing the Griffey is for the 90s All-Stars. Will's guessing Jeter. Sean Dunstan on Fielding? John Jay? I mean, maybe, but probably not. I don't think Sean Dustin's going to be in the uh, Sterling checklist, but if he is. If you guys haven't seen one of these yet, these cards are incredible. And we're going this way. We've got some red. And it's John Smoltz. Sterling Seasons, 1996. John Smoltz. And that's numbered 5 of 25. 
Dual patch and auto there. Good old Smolsey. Great looking card. Next up is Fielding Award winners. I know somebody guessed Ozzy on this. I don't see. I didn't see anybody else guess uh, on Fielding, except for Sean Dunstan. Which John, I'm going to say right now, it's not. It's not Sean Dunstan. <laughs> Goldschmidt? I mean, it didn't say the era. Will Clark? That'd be a classic one. I think we're. Yep. Yeah. Let's take a look. Ooh. Really nice patches, too. Christian Yelich. And look at the patch on those, guys. That's numbered 1 of 10. Very nice. Triple patch and auto. Christian Yelich. You think those, uh, those colors are from Mr. Brewer himself? I think that's like his face or his arm or something. Pretty cool looking. I mean, he could have been in the 2010s All Stars, right? Yeah, Thousand Oaks, Southern California kid. Next up, 2010s MLB All Stars. I saw somebody guess. Trout earlier. Anybody, any more guesses for 2010s All Stars? I don't think it's going to be another Yelich, but I guess it could be. Arenado? Tommy Lastella, no, no, Louis. As much as I would appreciate that, and you might, it's not going to be him. Wow, another awesome patch. Xander Bogarts, and that's two out of three. And that's from their military patches. It's so that you can't it's hard to tell but the color on that is green so I think this is from their like their military jerseys or maybe it's just my eyes but those look green to me So we've had uh, three really nice ones so far. One more coming up. And last but not least, 1990s MLB All-Stars. Second time we've had this one in this break. The first one we ended up with a John Smoltz. Any guesses on this one? Vladdy Daddy, Randy Johnson. Bonds. McGuire. I mean, those are all 90s All-Stars, right? Let's see.
Kirby Pocket? They're on card autos. Unfortunately, Kirby won't be in this. Somebody guessed it, though. Randy Johnson, the big unit. 8 of 10, triple patch and auto. With his Mariners pinstripe jersey. Awesome looking card there. The blue color matches. 8 of 10. So the 90s All-Stars were two incredible pitchers. Who guessed Randy Johnson? Will. Well, now we know what the cards are. Now let's find out who ends up with what. John, you're, I think you need to... You need to update your stream, refresh it, because you're guessing Pedro, and we already showed the card, so you might have, need to do an update. Okay, so there's the list of customers. We're going to pause the stream, and we're going to type in right here the list of hits, and then we're going to match them both up, so we'll see you guys in a minute. Welcome back, everybody. We have the list of customers and the list of hits in the order that we pulled them. So we're gonna do a dice roll to see how many times we're gonna randomize it to match up the names of the customers and the hits themselves. We're doing it a six and a two, eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Adam, down to Mark. And now eight times on the hits. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck. Christian Yelich, down to Randy Johnson. So that means Adam Harper with his last spot mojo is going to end up with the Christian Yelich auto to uh, patch auto to 10. Jeremy Port with the spot that he won in Leaf 4 is going to end up with the Xander Bogarts patch auto to 3. Roger Hoynes with the spot he let, uh, won in Leaf 4 is going to win the John Smoltz patch and auto to 25. And Mark Winter. With his spot straight up, he's going to win the triple patch and auto Randy Johnson. So, Adam Harper, congratulations. Very nice. Three color patch and auto Christian Yelich. Jeremy Port with a great looking patch for Xander Bogarts. Two out of three. Roger Hoynes. With the spot he won, John Smoltz, dual patch and auto to 25, and Mark Winter. Randy Johnson, triple patch and auto, 8 out of 10. Congratulations, everybody. I'm Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 2020 Top Sterling Baseball, two box break, number six, random hit. Breaks 7 and 8 will be coming up soon. Check them out at jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time.